Hello and uh, welcome back to our channel Stats and Physics Concepts by Mr. Heyman. This is our 16th uh, lecture in physics and uh, in this lecture we are going to uh, discuss about Pascal's law and uh, its application in case of a hydraulic lift. So we will discuss what is a hydraulic lift and where it is used and what is the basic principle behind working of a hydraulic lift so before starting uh, let me tell you about my channel so this is my channel stats and physics concepts by Mr. Heyman and uh, this is our email id stats at the rate gmail.com so I have covered earlier also many topics in uh, physics and uh, you may please uh, go through those uh, lectures and if you have any doubt regarding the topics that we did you may please approach me at this email id and also you may please uh, subscribe my channel so that uh, we'll be covering more and more of topics in uh, physics and uh, even in statistics also we'll be coming up with uh, different topics so that whenever we put up any new lecture uh, you may be benefited by this now let us uh, start with this now what is Pascal's law basically so Pascal's law it states that suppose I take some fluid in this container fluid Fluid means anything which flows. In this case, uh, I am taking in liquid. Let us say we take water here. So Pascal's law states that in case of a stationary liquid or in a stationary fluid, the pressure at all points, let us say these are the three points I have taken. A, B and this is C. The pressure at all these three points which are at same depth inside liquid the pressure will be will remain same at all these points so PA will be equal to PB and that will be equal to PC this is okay also if the fluid is present in a confined space now what is a confined space this term you can see confined space confined means closed is a closed space eh? so we'll discuss uh, this uh, Pascal's law and we'll see how this can be applied to this principle can be applicable or applied to hydraulic lifts so if, if you have visited any uh, uh, car garage or uh, any automobile garage you might have seen that uh, uh, there is some uh, uh, trolley like system where the car they, uh, you park your car and it gets lifted up and uh, even in case of uh, these uh, trucks and other automobiles the brakes uh, which they use they use the mechanism of this hydraulic lift only so how that works basically let me explain to you so suppose what they do they have two pistons here or two cylinders connected by a common tube so I will not go in very detail like they may be using some oil pump for creating uh, pressure and uh, some relief wall is there and other things so we will not go in very detail the mechanical part eh? so I will explain you in related to this so this is the fluid eh? some oil is present so in uh, case of brakes then you have brake oil that is used eh? of different grade now you can see here there are two cylinders here one is this another is 
this cylinder. Let us say this is a frictionless uh, piston we are using having an area A. So area of cross section of this piston that is a square meter. Let us say the area of this is capital A and let us say we apply some pressure P1 here on this piston. So when you apply your pressure P1 on this liquid here the same pressure gets transmitted here. So you get P2 here. Now what about F? So I have here I can write uh, F1 and there will be some force F which will be acting on this piston in upward direction. Let me take this as F2. So what I have taken A is the area of cross section of smaller piston capital A is the area of cross section of larger piston F1 this is the force applied on the piston smaller piston F1 is the force applied on the smaller piston and F2 F2 is the force which acts on this bigger piston F2 is the force acting on or I can write more precisely pist piston with area of cross section a square meter and here I can write small a square meter this is clear so now according to Pascal's law P1 will be equal to P2 this is very important thing you have to remember so if you remember this you can explain this whole mechanism so P1 is equal to P2 the pressure applied over here on this piston that must be equal to the pressure applied on the other piston in upper direction so this remains same so let us uh, see how we can explain this mechanism of hydraulic lift so we are saying P1 is equal to P2 and what is P1? P1 is equal to F1 by A and what is P2? F2 by A and also we have taken this condition area of cross section of this piston is greater than this area of cross section of this piston is greater than this so capital A is greater than this now equating these two we get F1 by small a is equal to F2 by capital A I have to find out what is this F2 so F2 will be equal to cross multiply A by A F1 this is an important result again so the force you can see which acts on this piston in upper direction that is more than F1 now how because A is greater than capital A is greater than small a we have taken this condition area of cross section of this piston is more than that of area of cross section of this piston so definitely here this factor will be greater than 1 so if this factor is greater than 1 F2 will be greater than F1 so what we get we get F2 is greater than F1 so the force that you have applied here that becomes much more over here so if F gets increased here what happens to the work done 
so you know the formula for work done force into force applied into displacement produced in the piston in upward direction so you are applying small f here and it gets increased many times here this is what happens in case of uh, the hydraulic brakes that you use in automobile or in vehicles like in case of trucks also so the driver what he does he just presses this portion of the piston and the force increases many times at the brake level of the rear wheels rear wheels means the back wheels of the truck so this is the whole principle of pascal's law so again i can recollect the things so we have two cylinders here they are connected by this common tube or pipe you can say so there are two pistons here one is this this is having area of cross section a square meter and uh, another piston having area of cross section capital a square meter and uh, we have uh, assumed here a is greater than assumed or it is visible also here you can say capital a is greater than small a and we are then making use of this pascal's law we are saying p1 is equal to p2 the pressure that you have applied here on this piston that gets transmitted equally to this so p1 is equal to p2 so then making use of this formula i can write p1 is equal to f1 by a and p2 is equal to f2 by capital a you can see here p1 is equal to f1 by small a and p2 is equal to f2 by capital a so equating the two you get this then find out f2 the force which is because we are interested in finding this force f2 acting in upward direction because if f2 is greater than f1 then only we will get some more work so you'll get more work here so how the pressure is created at this point so in like i took example of i gave you an example of uh, this car garage is garage where hydraulic lifts are used so we use a pump here at this point so some sort of pumps are used like uh, you have uh, geared pumps are there or some other pumps so they create pressure here so this pressure gets transmitted to this side and you get some more force here so work done is force into displacement so since you have increased this f so what happens to the work done so you get an increased work at this point so with this we'll uh, stop here in this uh, lecture so we'll be bringing uh, we'll be covering more topics in our coming lectures so again uh, if you have uh, any doubt related to that this topic was basically from uh, fluid mechanics so if you have any doubt you can approach me at this stats5.hemant@gmail.com so we'll stop here only so okay thank you thanks a lot